Hi guys, this is Alex from Mesa Lifestyle. I hope you guys are doing well. I know I have been MIA here for a week. I was just kind of taking a little break and honestly, I just wanted to just sew. I just wanted to sew. I've been looking at some of these new pattern releases and I gotta tell you guys, I don't know. I Perhaps I'm really looking at more things with a critical eye. And at the time that I am, you know, taping this video, I have yet to see anything for either new look, which it's probably not even going to fit me because they love to stop at size 16 or size 18, or Butterick, which I absolutely love. And they fit me, but I have yet to see anything from them. So I wonder if there are any patterns coming this week. Maybe, maybe not. I'm working on my cape. I started fitting it because I, I saw some of the reviews for the pattern saying that some of the shoulders are a little big. And I actually realized, guys, that I don't like a lot of my coats or anything like that to be too big. I know, yes, we're going to put sweaters and all that jazz under it. But I don't like a lot of ease in there. So um, I'm working on that. But, right? But seeing some of these other patterns that are being released, and I'll do a pattern haul later on because I have purchased some patterns, but I have to say that 80% of the patterns are just not exciting to me and I'm taking a hard pass. Like a lot of the patterns from McCall's, it's definitely for a different demographic and I am not it and that's okay. But it's it's given me a chance to perhaps look at some of my patterns that are just sitting in the stash. And guys, you know, we buy, you know, when the patterns are good, you buy 10 patterns like, like nobody's business, right? Nobody's business. Hey, get that pattern and I'm going to make it. But I've had some of them, guys, that are sitting in the stash or perhaps I purchased a pattern that is super duper old, as in like 10 years old. And I'm looking back at some of these patterns and I'm like, why haven't I made this one? So let me show you. I made this pattern. This is Cynthia Rowley's um, Simplicity 2443. It's been around for 10 years, you guys, 10 years. And I still don't know why I haven't made it, but that changed two weeks ago. I went ahead and made the dress and I made the top and I told you guys that this was going to be one of the things that I was going to make this month. And I went ahead um, and I make it this month or January, I think I told you guys that I was going to make it. And sure enough, I took the time and I did. I got some beautiful fabric. Um, I got a ponte for the dress and I got a stretch twill for the jacket, which I was very excited about. Um, but I had to work through a couple of issues on that fabric because... One, the fabric came and it was, it had like some spots and some weird things. I talked to fabric.com and they said, yes, we see it on our end. We see it on the pictures that you submitted out to us. So they were kind enough to just um, take the cost off my bill for that one fabric. So I appreciate they did that. But, you know, it just feels bad that you just have fabric sitting here. So I went ahead and kind of cut throughout and kind of made it work. Thank goodness for ordering a little bit of extra fabric every single time. But I went ahead and made it. I will say that pattern is for someone with intermediate experience. The dress is not hard. The insistrations are super easy. But that band around the neckline takes a little getting used to, a little easing around. But once you, um, once you get that done, you have a beautiful pattern. So let me show you pictures of the dress, right? And I'm definitely going to make that, put that on in the summer with a pair of sandals, some nice chunky jewelry. And then perhaps if I want to dress it up, I'm going to put on the jacket. I omitted all of those loops for and the strings. I just knew that I'm not going to wear that. And guys, I mean, sometimes like you're eating, right? You're eating, you're stuffing your face. You have all these strings and all those loops. So I'm like, 
buttons will look beautiful on that and sure enough they did and I feel like they elevate the jacket a little bit more so and I posted some more pictures on my blog if you guys want to see it I loved it I did have to do some um some changes on the patterns on the shoulders and whatnot but I love the way it looks I wasn't so happy with it probably because the stretch twill was Again, not some of the easiest fabrics to deal with. And my iron seemed to be like coming in hot every single time and just pretty much scorching the fabric. So I had to um, I had to make some changes to the fabric just because, right? Put it in the lowest setting, put another fabric on top of it, put like another fabric on top of it, just so the fabric I could get a crisp, seam but also um but also does not completely melt the fabric on it another pattern that had been sitting on my sash and honestly i don't even know how old this one is this is from tilly and the buttons and it is the romy dress and if you guys i mean if you look at the um in the you see there you go so it's it's a pretty straightforward dress and I usually get them, guys, because I'm like, do I want to draft this? No, I don't want to draft this. But I went ahead and did the dress. And I made some changes to the back ties just because I just didn't want to wear that with the ties. Um, I know I was going to wear this during the summer, during the spring. I'm using a French terry. But it was not the easiest um, pattern to fit around the shoulders, mostly because I didn't want any gaping on that bottom back um, bodice piece. And I think I got it to a happy medium, but I'm not entirely happy with it. And I think the curious thing about this pattern is there's not a ton of reviews out there on it. And when you really look at the finished product from a lot of people, they have a lot of bunching around um, around the kind of like around the armholes right so you know again another make that is kind of done um but um another pattern that i'm working on is a bias skirt and i'm working on this this week it's m7931 i love that bias skirt and i know that um i'm working on a top from Stay Stitch, which is an indie pattern company. So I downloaded a top from them and I'm gonna be making it with that skirt. But guys, what patterns are sitting on your stash? On your pattern stash? And it's been like, you know, girl, I've been waiting for you for quite some time to go ahead and cut me up and make me into something pretty. What patterns are out there? And I'm telling you guys go and look i know that um there are some of you around here that have been sewing for quite some time and you gotta have one heck of a stash of patterns go over there and check out what you have and then tell me in the comments below because i love looking up some of these older patterns some of the stuff is pretty nice and guys i have not forgotten about the cape I have it fitted. I wanted something a little bit more fitted around the shoulders. I seem to not like things with a lot of ease in jackets. I know I need some ease, right? Because I'm layering things, but I've noticed that I don't like a ton of ease on these things. So I am working on that. I'm working on our cape this week because I want to wear it. We're having spring-like weather, so it's perfect. So I'm hoping to have that for you either Thursday or Friday of this week. All right, guys, I will see you later on. Bye.